All right, so we're coming to you here today with a little special uh, featured video. No, this is not a green screen background. We are near the top of Mount Baker, which you can see right behind us. We just spent and several hours climbing the mountain in a car and then by foot and crossing <coughs> several rivers. Yeah. Fearing for my life on the edge for a few <laughs> times. And we're right in front of a glacier called the Coleman Glacier, which is, as I mentioned, near the top of Mount Baker. You can see it right behind us here. Mm -hmm. And we're um, not going to back up. If we yeah. backed up a few feet, we'd be like over the edge. And you may not be able to appreciate it on video. I know there's no way you could fully, but this is a massive, massive river of ice uh, mm -hmm. behind us. And then that and way, it's all sun and trees and, and beautiful northwest forest. Flowing waterfalls. Yeah, so it's really a special place, and I actually wanted to bring Kathy here last summer when my oldest son got married. Uh, I raised well, we my kids here. we were busy doing other fun things. Yeah, we were busy getting him married, and, and Kathy's health was not such that she could have done this hike then. This is the first so, hike I've taken in like three years. Yep, and this is about seven or eight miles round trip, so it's a good hike for her. I'm actually really proud of and, myself. Uh, I'm proud of her too. <laughs> it's been super fun. Uh, to be up here today and, and do this, uh, also with my son involved. And um, we wanted to talk about how um, dating is like an adventure, really. It can be, you can have dates like this. Uh, my son even sort of, you know, um, tongue-in-cheek mentioned, you know, someday I might propose to my wife up here. And I thought that was a great idea because I proposed to mine on a safari in Africa. So, um <laughs> You know, the wild places of the earth have a special uh, place in my heart. I guess that was a little hike, but it wasn't yeah. like a big hike like this. Right. Yeah, the, the hike in Africa wasn't as, as long, although here we didn't get to see wild zebras, so there are And I guess it was almost three years ago, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the last time <laughs> I was here actually was three, three summers ago in 2017. Um, we brought my son up here, my older son, after he came home from his mission and this was a place he wanted to come because he had memories of of doing this hike with me as a child um, so uh, we want to encourage you uh, whether it's you know with COVID you get an um, open air dates and outside dates are a great thing to do and mm -hmm. there's lots of hikers up here you can't beat scenery like this for creating romance and we've always just, uh, you know, kind of taken turns on the path so we don't get too close and it works. Yep. We go like this if we go by people with masks <laughs> on, you know. Yep. And uh, everyone's been real friendly. Mm -hmm. We've made some new friends and that's what happens when you date. Also, we've uh, can encountered various weather patterns and various scenery and that's happen what happens when you get to know new people. Um, some are cold, some are hot, you know. <laughs> I have and all, everything in between. You know, I've, I've hiked through the years for exercise and things, and I've gone by myself from time to time. But I always, when I lived up here in Washington and I hiked a lot, I enjoyed uh, bringing my boys because it was a, it was a chance to share something really beautiful with them. And I really wanted Kathy to see this place because it's one of my favorite places. And having someone in, special in your life. Um, is an opportunity to share things that are special to you, mm -hmm. um, like this glacier, like this mountain. Um, he told me if it wasn't the most spectacular thing I'd ever seen, he would eat his hat. So, <laughs> folks, he's going to eat his hat right now. <laughs> I mean, no, it, it's, it's really pretty. But I did want to see him eat his hat. I thought that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we uh, we wanted to share a little bit of this with you. And hopefully, you know, as you... Even after you're married, um, this is, these are the kind of adventures you can have with someone you love. And everything about dating and relationships is uh, it's flowing and it's uh, there's ups and downs. And with hiking, you know, sometimes it's steep. uphill and steep, and then sometimes it's easy going and kind of straight, and sometimes it's downhill. And you know that can be easier in some ways and harder in others. And so, yeah, outdoors. Uh, can be a lot of uh, there can be a lot of parallel in a lot of things in life and dating is definitely one of them yeah and this is a 
um, dating and relationships. From the ups and downs of this hike, we come to this amazing, spectacular payoff at the top of the mountain. And, um, you know, it's uh, totally worth it. And if you're ever up here, please get a date and come up this mountain because it's, uh, it's an amazing place. So what's the trail? What it's trail? called the Mount Baker Trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it uh, it and leads to the, the mount to the um, Coleman Glacier Overlook. And uh, there's no way to get here besides hiking. You can't you know you can't take bring your car up. Uh, although, although the car made like a big journey too. Yeah, the car comes up Mount Baker Highway, and uh, you can yeah, private message this, me. Like the tip of this right here um, can be seen all from all over, and Indians called it the Great White Watcher, right? Yep. The Great White Watcher. So we are near the top of the Great White Watcher that can be seen from all around Washington yep. and Canada. Uh, it can be seen in Canada too, yeah. And we're actually pretty near the Canadian border here, you know, 25 miles away or something like that. Uh, so it's a lot, you'll, you'll see some scenery like this in Canada, but yeah. if you want to, <laughs> yeah, if you want to see glaciers, I mean, Glacier National Park is beautiful. But if you really want to get up close and personal with one, this is the place to come. And uh, just a seven or eight mile hike. And it's, you know, this is a very spectacular date, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And the trees are super tall, like yeah. a lot bigger than, in, or like a lot taller and more massive than in Utah. Yeah, you get big hemlocks and Douglas firs and all kinds of stuff. And if you uh, walk through these woods, you think, you're a miniature person walking through these massive trees. It does feel that way. Um, and so we encourage you, you know, not every date has to be elaborate or spectacular, but once in a while, do something like this. And uh, yep. maybe you'll win her heart. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you want to say any more about this? No, just uh, it's, there's a lot of good weather yet left. We're uh, at the end of August, um, but not so much that you want to wait too long. I would take advantage of the weather and go for a hike somewhere. Yeah, enjoy dating, have many adventures, and adventures like this are beautiful and awesome, but cheap. Um, you know, we have lots of, if you're in Utah, we have lots of great mountains around there too, and you can take your friend and go for a, for a, a hike and... Um, Appreciate some of the spectacular things that God has created for us. We have lots of great hikes in Utah, as you know. Beautiful. Very close to home, wherever you are along the Wasatch Front. There's a mountain somewhere with a trail. Yep. All right. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we are grateful that you joined us, and hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, and that it motivates you to, uh, uh, you know, go out and have a dating adventure. We'll talk to you soon.